Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tie Night tonight. Thank you for coming. Tonight we're going to be tying up a classic pattern. This is called the Iron Blue Dun. This pattern imitates mayflies and can be tied in a variety of different sizes and colors. Originally it was tied using either red silk thread waxed or yellow wax thread which gave it a kind of an olive color so today i'm going to be tying using semperfly's claret colored thread in a 12 aught i'm going to be using the moonlit tagata 251 hook so with that i want to invite you to make sure and like the video and any of your other favorite videos on our channel leave us a comment Hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. So I'm going to start this thread roughly about two hook eyes behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to lay a nice good thread foundation. I'm going to go and take this back to roughly where the barb of that hook would be just a little bit short just past the tip of that hook there for the tail on this I am actually going to be using some quail this is a California Valley quail and I'm just going to take a few fibers from a longer feather towards its tail and I'm just going to measure that so that it's just about the length of the hook shank maybe just a smidge shorter you can see that is a little long oh, that fiber is just kind of screwy there we go I'm just gonna give a good couple wraps over the top secure that down up the shank. We'll trim that out. This just gives us a nice good even body. Take our thread back to the tail. I'm going to go behind it two wraps. That's just going to help keep that nice and vertical going out the back end. About three wraps going forward. Now we're going to take some Vicuna blue dubbing, and I don't need a whole lot of it. And this is for my body here. We'll just dub that on there. And that's going to give me just a little tiny red tag end there. We'll wrap this up to our starting point there. Clean off a little excess of thread. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a thread wrap there. I did have a feather prep, but looks like I lost it. So here's my California Gamble or California Valley quail. I'm going to use 
a feather up here in the neck. This is a size 16 that I'm tying. This is an effective pattern in all the variety of sizes from 12 to 14. So there's my feather. I'm just going to take and create a tie-in point. on the tip, like so. We'll secure that down with two over the top and then two in front. And that's just gonna lock that in, secure it. Now I'm going to trim that tip piece and now we'll just take and wrap our hackle and I love the black accented tips on this California quail. And you can see I'm just going to preen those fibers with each individual wrap. Now I'm going to secure that down. And you're not going to get a ton of wraps, and it need it's supposed to be a pretty sparse hackled fly, anyways. I like to over hackle a lot of mine with hen so when I tie with quail it's kind of nice it helps helps me keep them a little more sparse now we're just gonna half hitch or whip finish this so there's a three turn whip just for good measure I'm gonna do another two one and two. Trim that thread out. Now I can just take with my finger and I can pop that stem. There's some kind of screwy hackle fibers. You can see these hackle fibers here. I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm going to pop them just to clean them so it's a little bit cleaner looking fly. Now just to finish this fly off, I'm going to take just a little bit of head cement. I'm just going to put it on the tip of my bodkin here. And let that seep into my thread and let it dry. Real quick, simple, easy pattern. This is the Iron Blue Dunn. It's a soft hackle version. They tie these, they make dry fly versions of the Iron Blue done. Again, it's a mayfly imitation. You can use this to tie a variety of different colors. Um, use them for bluing olives, PMDs, any of your mayflies. Tie them in bigger sizes, fish them as uh, green drakes, and just have a lot of fun tying and fishing these. I love the quail for this. It's just got that perfect done colored hackle and I've got a ton of different sizes. I can get a larger sizes in here to some very very small sizes in there and so one of my favorite game birds to tie with is the quail and this California Valley quail is one of my favorites just got it in this one and we look forward to seeing what you guys tie Again, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. 
leave us a comment, subscribe and hit the bell for future notification. This helps us beat the algorithms and helps YouTube see that our content has value and helps get it into other people's views. And we appreciate your help and support in doing that. Have a wonderful evening.